Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Thomas Cheap Crochet and Knitting. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet baby soft and so cute baby blanket. I'm going to use my favorite brand of chenille yarns, it's Himalaya brand and the yarn is called Dolphin Baby. And for beginners it is the best chenille yarn because uh, it's the best quality and the work with other yarns can be harder. If you want to follow me and make a letter, you'll need this fluffy yarn called Mink from Yarn Art brand. A pair of scissors, measure tape, stitch marker, yarn needle, 7 mm crochet hook and sewing thread. I'm going to use the white color of yarn and 7 mm crochet hook. And how I said, I'm going to make a baby blanket. So the length of baby blanket is 70 centimeters and the width of the baby blanket is 60 centimeters. So start with slip knot and then chain 70. If you want to make bigger baby blanket or bigger blanket, um, or smaller blanket, uh, you have to make multiple of two. Okay, I have done 70 chains. And now start in the second chain and insert your hook into the second chain, grab the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. In the next chain make how double crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, you have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull it all three loops. In next stitch make slip stitch again. Now half double crochet. And slip stitch. Repeat this pattern across the row and you will need um, three balls of yarn for this size of baby blanket plus different color of yarn and just one ball uh, of different color of yarn for the border. So you'll need four balls of chenille yarn for this project and one ball of fluffy yarn. I am at the end of the row and now make last slip stitch in the last chain. And remember on this side where you have starting tail, always make chain 2 and turn your work. And these two chains we will count like half double crochet, so we will start uh, next row with a slip stitch. But I'm going, to I'm going to show you where you will always make half double crochet and where you will always make slip stitch. So you can see these bumps and you will make always one half double crochet in this space so in front of the bump and behind the bump you will make always slip stitch so here is the right stitch where you have to make slip stitch 
And now we are going to start with a slip stitch. So you will start in this chain, not here, but behind the bump and make slip stitch. Then one half double crochet. So in front of the bump, make one half double crochet and repeat the same pattern like in previous row across the row. Okay, I have two stitches left, so I have to make last slip stitch and in very last stitch goes half double crochet and we are on the other side, the starting tail is not <laughs> on this side, so always on this side you will start the next row with chain one. So chain one, I'm going to make uh, the last half double crochet again because uh, I didn't, I didn't insert the hook into both loops. Okay, now it's okay. So chain one and turn and we will repeat the same pattern like in previous row. Make slip stitch in this stitch. Then one half double crochet in front of this bump. slip stitch and one half double crochet and continue working like this across this row. You can follow me also on my Instagram profile at Sheep. You can write me there if you want or send me pictures. Okay, this is how it looks like. And now we are on the other side. Here is the starting tail. I'm going to make last half double crochet and in very last stitch goes slip stitch like on the start on the beginning of this on this row. <laughs> so chain two and turn your work. Make a slip stitch, not here, but behind the bump. And then half double crochet. Okay, continue working and make as many rows till you get the length. 65 centimeters and click the links above the right corner or in description of this video for more baby blanket tutorials and now you can pause the video and meet me back again then I will show you how to make border of baby blanket.
Okay, this is how it looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to make the border of baby blanket and you will make just one single crochet in each stitch around. But I'm going to show you uh, where are the stitches. So on this side you will continue working exactly the same like in previous rows. So you can see stitches well. But on this side it's a little harder, but you will always make one single crochet in each row. This is one row, this is one row, this is one row. So the best is when you will count rows and you will, uh, you need to have exactly the same count of single crochets like rows and I'm going to use a gray color of yarn for border so pull it through and chain one and we are at the corner so we are going to make single crochets just in each stitch and at the corner or in each corner make always two single crochets so I'm going to start in the same stitch and make one single crochet and also I'm going to hide the tail starting tail behind my work you can use stitch marker if you want and this starting tail I'm going to hide behind my work during crochet and make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this of this side of this row So on this side you can see well the stitches. Okay, now I'm at the corner so make two single crochets in this stitch and I'm going to hide this tail again behind my work. So the two single crochets in the same stitch in the corner and then make one single crochet in each stitch again and this side will be a little harder so you have to see where is the row and count if you are beginner the best for you is when you have you will have uh, when you will uh, count count stitches and count rows and at the end of this side count uh, your single crochets and it should be the same count like rows okay I am at the end so make just slip stitch join the, the round with a slip stitch and I'm going to make one more round of single crochet so chain one in the same stitch make one single crochet and now it's easier because you can see stitches well so make one single crochet in each stitch around and always make two single crochets in each corner Okay, I'm at the corner and make two single crochets in the same stitch. 
If you like this baby blanket, I will be glad for the thumb up. Okay, I made a slip stitch and now let's make a last round. So chain one and we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch again, but we will go to the right. So make one single crochet in this stitch, insert your hook into this stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, <laughs> pull it through, I'm sorry. Grab the yarn and pull it through two loops. Then make another single crochet in the next stitch. And continue working like this all the way around. And that's all. <laughs> We will have done the border of blanket. If it's too hard for you, if you are a beginner, for example, just make one more row of single crochet, one more round of single crochets, like in previous rounds, or just leave it with two rounds of single crochets. Okay, and I'm at the corner and it's up to you. You can make two single crochets at the in the corner again or just make one single crochet. I made just one in this corner and you can see it's okay. When you will make two single crochets in the corner it will be okay as well. Okay, and at the end of the round, uh, just cut the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch with yarn needle from this side, from wrong side. It will be better in this stitch. Okay, and now let's make the leather if you want. This is how it looks like. I think it's it's lovely, it's cute and soft. I'm going to use 7mm crochet hook again and the fluffy yarn. And I'm going to use double yarn. So you can use what color you want. I'm going to use um, um, light, light gray color. So I'm going to use this color, it's 334. It's gray and this is silver, silver silver gray color so use double yarn because it will look nicer make a slip knot and then make as many chains you need for your leather if you want to have uh, bigger leather or smaller leather if you will make just uh, leather T or or O or or B like me you need you need to try it first so make uh, a few chains and try it okay it's enough for me like this and now I'm going to make one more or, or one more <laughs> I'm going to make yeah one more row so 
start in the second chain it will be a little harder to see where are stitches and make one single crochet and you will make one single crochet in each chain across and that's all so make one single crochet in each uh, chain across and then you will just uh, make a leather make the right shape of leather and put it on your blanket use pins with large head and then just sew it to the blanket with the sewing thread I will use a white sewing thread everything will be invisible and that's all from me so thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye bye